wanna welcome everyone here today, Google fans, the media. In the front row, we have some of our top sales reps from Verizon and other partners. It's great to have you all here. Yes. Welcome, welcome. We've got a lot to show you today, including a few surprises. So uh, I thought I would quickly set the scene and explain what we've been working toward and just how it ties into the vision that Sundar outlined. A year ago, we stood on a slightly smaller stage and introduced the world to Google Pixel, Home, and Wi-Fi, Chromecast Ultra, and Daydream View. This is the first generation of hardware made by Google. So much has happened since then, and we've made tremendous progress in our first year. For starters, our team is getting a lot bigger. We're bringing on 2,000 very talented engineers from HTC, along with some important IP. It's an amazing team that's created a series of industry-first innovations, and by working more closely together, we'll be able to better integrate Google hardware and software. And our products have built up a lot of momentum going into our second year. Let's take a look. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google, play the soundtrack to Spaghetti for Pepe. Google set to hold a product event in San Francisco. There are a ton of new announcements. Google is showing off new hardware. Das Pixel XL und das Pixel. It's called Google Home. The new way to make your home a little bit smarter. Google debuted a new virtual reality headset. Get the daydream view. I actually feel like I'm there. It's sick as hell, I can tell you that much. The Google Pixel. Pixel is my new favorite camera. Okay, Google, take a selfie. Oh, that camera, the pictures that come out of this thing are incredible. Google's new Chromecast Ultra. Four stars and editor's choice. Okay, Google, show me a video of a kangaroo. Yes! The camera is phenomenal. The best ever in a smartphone. Beautiful. Tops in my book. There, I said it. My mom now can save every picture. Unlimited space. Mama got a new toy. It can recognize each voice. Ooh. Enter Google Assistant. She's so smart. She's just amazing. Let me see what else my Google Assistant can do. Hey, Google, call Carrie. OK, Google, je vois du beatbox. What is a dog? That's your question, what is a dog? <laughs> I don't want to blow your mind with my high-tech talk. It is amazing what it can do. I think we've got a winner. But it's still oh, a huge How cool is that? Yes, Google. That is amazing. OK, Google, what's next? We're still in the early days of our hardware line, but we're off to a great start. We're thrilled to announce that there are now 55 million Chromecast devices around the world. Google Wi-Fi is the number one selling mesh router since its launch in the US and Canada. And in the last 12 months alone, the Assistant has gotten a lot smarter thanks to Google. We've added more than 100 million new, unique featured snippets from the web, video results from YouTube, and new local places in Google Maps, and a lot more. And Pixel had a great year. I just wish we had a few more of them to go around, but user satisfaction <laughs> among Pixel owners is among the highest of any Google product ever. Industry analysts and the media gave Pixel rave reviews too. Our performance scores led the industry, and Pixel had the best and top-rated smartphone camera. We're really proud of how well the Pixel did for our first-generation smartphone in such a competitive space. Well, you all know this better than anyone, but the playing field for hardware components is leveling off. And I don't envy those of you who have to write reviews for a bunch of smartphones with very similar specs. Megapixels in the camera, processor speed, modem throughput, battery life, display quality. These core features are table stakes now. Moore's Law and Dennard scaling are ideas from the past. To be honest, it's gonna to be tougher and tougher for, for people to develop new exciting products each year because that's no longer the timetable for big leaps forward in hardware alone. And that's why we're taking a very different approach at Google. 
As I said last year, the next big innovation will happen at the intersection of AI, software, and hardware. Smartphones might be reaching parity on their specs, but as we just heard from Sundar, we're seeing huge breakthroughs in the kinds of experiences we're able to deliver to users. And it all starts with reimagining hardware from the inside out. AI and machine learning have helped us to do this across our products. For one, Pixel completely revolutionized the end-to-end -end photo experience for users and removes all of the hassles. Machine learning works throughout the experience to make your Pixel photos more vibrant, to smooth out your videos, and to make all those thousands of memories easy to find on any of your devices. We did the same thing with home networks. Google Wi-Fi uses machine learning not only to keep your signal strong, but to reduce Wi-Fi congestion. While you're moving throughout the house, your router is intelligently transitioning your devices to the best Wi-Fi point and placing you on the right channel. When you're using the Assistant on Google Home, you'll notice it can pick up your voice even in a noisy room. Our deep learning capabilities and neural beamforming help Google Home locate the source of sound and hear you accurately. So we can do with just two microphones what others normally need six or eight to do. And this is what it means to design hardware from the inside out. It's this combination of AI, software, and hardware working together that provides a helpful experience for our users. And that's where the big leaps forward are gonna happen in the next 10 years. We're still in the early days for our hardware line, but we know what it takes to build great products in a crowded field. We weren't first with many of our most successful products. Gmail, Chrome, Android, and even Search. But in each case, we succeeded by doing what we're best at, reimagining the experience to make it radically helpful for the user. And as you'll hear today, our next generation of devices is radically helpful too. They're fast, they're there when you need them, they're simple to use, and they anticipate your needs. Everything is designed for you to keep the tech in the background and out of your way. Interact with your devices naturally through your voice or by touching them. And by building hardware around our AI and software, we're creating products that get even better over time. 